the splendor of a king. Welcome again, and thank you again for allowing me to join you for these devotional times together. As we go to the book of Ecclesiastes and we learn to see through the mist. As we're looking at Ecclesiastes, we come to Ecclesiastes chapter 2. And what Solomon shares here, you know, there's an old statement, a truth, that says that wisdom comes from your, or wisdom comes from your experiences. The knowledge you gain from your experiences builds into wisdom. And Solomon is about to explain, well, what he went through, what he did. Even in all his wisdom, that gives him the knowledge and understanding to write this about seeing through the mist, about not falling for the vanities, the vapor. Ecclesiastes 2, beginning at verse 1. I said in my heart, Come now, I will test you with pleasure. Enjoy yourself, but behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad, and of pleasure, what use is it? I searched with my heart how to cheer my body with wine and my heart still guiding me with wisdom and how to lay hold on folly till I might see what was good for the children of man to do under heaven during the few days of their life. I made great works. I built houses and planted vineyards for myself. I made myself gardens and parks and I planted them in all kinds of fruit trees. I made myself pools from which to water the forest of growing trees. I bought male and female slaves and had slaves who were born in my house. I had also great possessions of herds and flocks, more than any who had been before me in Jerusalem. I also gathered for myself silver and gold, the treasure of kings and of provinces. I got singers, both men and women, and many concubines, the delight of the children of man. So I became great and surpassed all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me. And whatever my eyes desired, I did not keep from them. I kept my heart from no pleasure for my heart. For my heart found pleasure in all toil, and this was my reward for all my toil. Then I considered all that my hands had done, and the toil I had expended in doing it. And behold, all was vanity, and a striving after the wind, and there was nothing to be gained under the sun. Solomon says, I tried it all. You name a pleasure. I tried it. I thought maybe that's where I'm going to find happiness. Maybe that's where I'm going to find fulfillment. Because wisdom says I'm going to experience this to see what it's about. But I really wasn't using the wisdom I should have. Because as I look back, he says, it was vain. It was an illusion of smoke. I was trying to grab the wind. And there's nothing new under the sun. So don't fall for what I fell for. Don't let those pleasures, those vanities, drive your life. Look through the mist at what is true and what is right. Thank you again for joining us. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for this day. And Father, we know that sometimes we experience things and go to experiences and look for things that, that don't satisfy. Father, help us to realize that Solomon that went there for us and many have gone before us and will testify, admit that those things are, are useless and even harmful, that they're vanity, that they're fake, that they're just the illusion. Father, help us to see through the mist and to see what's real, to see you behind the mist. Father, thank you for loving us and thank you for Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And again, thank you for allowing me to join you for these devotional thoughts. I look forward to being with you again on Monday. Until then, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. Love in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice.